About two years ago, I had the wonderful opportunity to teach a communications class. One of the activities that we would engage in was impromptu speaking. I had a list of 365 questions. A student would volunteer, usually, stand up, pick a number, and then be asked a random question. Now, I participated in this activity as well. One, because I wanted to show and be an example of impromptu speaking. But two, I kind of liked it. But one day, I was asked this question. What is the biggest lie you've ever said? And when I got the question, truthfully, I was taking a step back. I began to think about all the things I've ever said and who I said them to. And then I began to rank them as to whether they were a bigger or a lesser lie. But as I got closer to standing in front of the group, I realized something. That the biggest lie I said wasn't to anybody, but it was to me. And the lie was this. I don't have time. I don't know if you've ever said it, but I said it a lot. I didn't do this. I didn't do that. I haven't learned this. I haven't gone there. I haven't lived the life that I want to live simply because I don't have time. And that was a lie. Because you see, I have as much time as anyone else in this world. 24 hours. People that have done amazing things, people that have done spectacular things, all had the same amount of time that I did. And my fault wasn't the amount of time I had, but how I was using the time. I realized that I was messing up in two ways. One, I wasn't being efficient with my time. Maybe my routines, my habits, my techniques were off and time was just slipping through. The other aspect was that I was escaping. And if you've ever binged watch Netflix, you know the idea of escaping. And so that was the lie that I was telling myself. That was the lie that kept me back uh, from doing all the things that I'd like to do. But I also realized that I might not be alone in that. Not necessarily in terms of saying to myself, I don't have time, but in the, the idea of saying that I can't do something, whatever it is. And so I ask you, maybe the person that you have lied to, uh, maybe it's you. Maybe it's the person in the mirror. Now, I don't want to presume that you lie, but I'm just saying, possibly, you have held on to a belief, held on to an idea for so long that you begin to believe it's true, but maybe it's not. I benefited from having that question asked of me because it began a whole host of self-reflection, a whole host of other ideas. And so I hope that it may have the same effect with you. I want to thank all of you who have commented on my video, shared my video, and uh, encouraged me uh, with my videos. Uh, thank you very much. Have a great day.